Today I have another book. It's called Room on the Broom. Let's see what it's all about. Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. The witch had a cat and a, and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when, when the wind blew so wildly and blew off the hat. See, her hat is flying away. Look at that cat. He looks kind of happy, huh? And look at the blackbirds. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there a broom on the is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on, and the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh. They were gone. So now there's a cat and a dog and the witch. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her braid just like that. Uh oh, there's the bow. It flew away. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, they flapped, there flapped a green bird with a bow in his beak. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. There it is. There's the bird with the bow. Then said, as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Now there's a bird and a dog and a cat and the witch. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go of her wand. Look at the wand. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground and they searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. There's a wand. Then all of a sudden from out of a pond leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and then said with a croak as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak. I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors in the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy. Look at that. Now there's a dog, a cat, a frog, a bird, and a witch on the broom. Whoa, there's a lot, a lot of people on the broom. The broom... Uh-oh.
snapped in two. <gasps> Looked like they were too heavy for the broom, huh? Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch half broomstick fell to, into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I wonder what that is. Looks like a dragon. I am a dragon as mean as can be. The witch with french fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, just this once, I'll have witch without fries. Uh-oh, looks like he's gonna eat the witch. But just as he planned, to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! Oh, look at the, look at the monster. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he sputtered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was up through the sky. Then down flew the bird, and down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat, and pew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in the dragon's inside. Look, at she's happy now, huh, because the monster was all the animals together, huh? Then she filled up her cauldron. That's her bowl right there, the cauldron. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something, everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily and the cow, cat found a cone. The bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she sputtered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose. What do you think is going to come out? A truly magnificent broom. Look at that broom. <laughs> With seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. And that's the end, but she got her nice little broom where everybody could fit, huh? Look at that. Now everybody's happy. The end.